when Bumi said this, I know, I know, so many amongst us might have felt the exact same feeling, and I cannot believe that in Indian cinema we are having a whole movie on female pleasure targeting orgasm and the pleasure gap. I'm super, super excited for it. But yes, on this YouTube video specifically, we are talking about orgasms, its type, and what is actually a pleasure gap, and what are factors that leads to these pleasure gap. So if you are new, hi, my name is Dr. Mitali Rathod. I am consultant obstetrician and gynecologist practicing since five years. And on this beautiful YouTube channel, we talk about periods, hormones, reproductive health, and so much more. As per the statistics, one in every three women faces difficulties while achieving an orgasm with their partner. And as per the detailed study, only and only 39% women have admitted that they are achieving adequate orgasms with their partner while there are 91% male that has said that they have had one or multiple form of orgasms with their partners. So you can now totally relate and understand that there is a pleasure gap, right? But you would be thinking, you must be thinking that what actually an orgasm is. So in the simplest form of definition, the feeling of joy or excitement post getting intimate with your partner, that is what we call as orgasms. Or should I use the word orgasm because orgasms will be like kabhi dekhe hi nahi hai, kabhi sunne hi nahi hai. Majority of women might be relate to the same. But yes, so that is the feeling of joy. As per the Kalpens model, we have a three different phases of orgasms. First one is of course desire, which means you want to get intimate with someone. Then followed by excitement. Second phase and followed by orgasm. The third, rushing of hormone, titanic contractions, contractions of your pelvic muscles, releasing of you know chemical mediators and neurotransmitters, and that feeling of joy, increasing pounding heart rate, blushing and flushing of skin, perspiration, so many emotions, no? Talking about types of orgasms, we have different types of orgasm that we I have enlisted here, but majority of time we are focusing on four different types. First one is of course the one traditional one that we achieve after getting intimate into the penetrative sort of intercourse. Second is the clitoral play. If you are masturbating, you must be aware regarding the same. Third is the pegasm that you might have not heard regarding the same, but I feel there are many women who are aware regarding the same. And the fourth one is that the nipplegasm. Which one you managed to achieve? Let me know in the comments. Talking about the first and most important factor which leads to difficult orgasms or an orgasmia to women has to be inadequate education. So do this exercise. Can you remember that when was the first time have you received or heard a word that is what we call as sex or physical intimacy or orgasm or something like that? I bet that must be through your friends or peers or colleagues or through your teacher or from your parents if you are so much lucky. But majority of time the way we have been introduced to the word sex or intimacy is in a very shameful, sinful manner. And it gets more sinful or shameful if you are indulging into that prior getting married or giving that tag of relationship specifically. So on one hand that is considered as you know shameful act but it gets justified and it gets you know suddenly legal and everything and respectful in it everybody's eyes if you have a uh, you know formal relationship. So the way we have been introduced, it's, it's very bad actually. And I don't understand why people are so much against the sex education. Of course, the change is coming. There are lots of beautiful people just like me who are spreading education every single day. So yes, we are blessed about that. But if we look, there are not many men and women who are well aware regarding the anatomy down there. मतलब उनको पता ही नहीं है जैसे उनके पास दो आंख है दो कान है एक नोज है एक माउथ है 32 teeth hai, waise hi they have one vagina or one penis, external part of the vulva, clitoris, internal part that is what we call as vagina and pleasure in general. 
and most of the time they have attained and managed to understand this education through a very very wrong source and that that is porn i'm sure mai koi nayi baat nahi bata rahi hu but still so somewhere the education the basic thing ki ye 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 hona chahiye agar mujhe mumbai jana hai matlab agar mujhe orgasm achieve karna hai then i have to know the path mujhe kaise pata chalega shayad main airport se ja sakti hu bus se ja sakti hu train se ja sakti hu that way to attain and achieve a proper orgasm you need to know what are the actual female parts down there okay talking about this funny incident so uh, as you know that my parents are doctors too once we had a patient who was facing difficulties in getting pregnant since past 5 years humne sare test kiye sari cheeze normal aa rahi thi semen analysis hormonal stuff ultrasound follicular study every single thing so yes we were suspecting that something is wrong with regards to their intimacy and then we have found out that they have never had penetrative intercourse on the first place because that lady was very much you know into the pain and frustration and she had not a slightest idea regarding how these things works and on the other hand that man was too much into you know applying force and he had no idea he was actually inserting into a wrong hole yes jo aapne doctor ji mein wo wala scene dekha tha na ki wo galat chale jate hain that was actually happening with them so can you imagine we are very well aware regarding the things that society has taught us like you know aapko shaadi karni hai bacche paida karne hain unko padhana hai job pe jana hai paise kamane hain those sort of things but we have no idea regarding women are having three specific holes down there or pregnant kahan se hona hai aur pee aur poop kahan se karna hai so imagine second most common reason that leads to difficult orgasms has to be stress in this fast paced life sabko bhagna hai sabko rat race mein jana hai sabko sabse aage jana hai sabko sabse zyada paise kamana hai and i can go on and on and on and on the top of that we are not living a healthy lifestyle matlab theek se khana theek se sona exercise karna stress manage karna wo sari cheeze and to adding a fuel to the fire we are 110% 24 cross 7 relying upon cheap dopamine cheap dopamine means agar mujhe abhi 5 minute milenge to main jhat se apna phone leke scroll karne lag jaungi ya fir main netflix pe kuch dekhungi so basically we do not have adequate amount of time to relax ourselves and meanwhile because we are jumping on from one dopamine cycle to another to another to another and getting that instant gratification with dopamine surge and fall and then again something and then relying upon sugar alcohol smoking cigarettes tobacco vaping e-cigarettes so many things so all of these things combine together is going to create some sort of effects on your relationship first thing and second thing is that because of that stress somehow your communication also gets impaired so because of lack of communication too much of stress performance pressure anxiety main apne husband ko ye bol sakti hu ye nahi bol sakti wo mujhe judge karenge unko aisa lagega unko waisa lagega so many judgments fear pressure and stigma that we are going through and i feel that could be one of the biggest reason why you are facing difficulties with regards to achieving an orgasm third and most common reason has to be fear of pain and penetration so as a girl can you remember ki sabse pehle aapko kab pata chala tha that you are actually have to indulge into these activities to get pregnant well i am sure that was introduced in a very shameful way right ki aisa aisa karoge bahut zyada dukhega itna zyada bleeding hoga ye hoga wo hoga so i can tell you from my practice ye koi statistics nahi hai but i can tell you that as many as 90 to 95% of women are carrying some amount of pain discomfort aur unko aisa lagta hai that that pain is going to be unbearable unbearable or intolerable for them and somehow because of this pre decided notions and pre existing beliefs inside their mind they tend forcefully contract their pelvic muscles down there so if you have no idea regarding what i'm talking about i have explain in details regarding how the pelvic floor and vagina and vulva and external anatomy is so make sure aap wo loosening of vagina ya fir loose vagina wala video dekhe does i have linked that in the description box for you as well so yes 
थोड़ा सा ब्रीफ कर देती हूँ वी हैव अ एक्सटर्नल वल्वा टू आउटर लिप्स टू इनर लिप्स क्लिटर इज दैट इज ओनली एंड ओनली देयर फॉर अ प्लेजर देन वी हैव अ पी होल वजाइना एंड द बट होल ओके दे आर ऑल सपोर्टेड बाई अ बोनी पेल्विस एंड द मसल्स सो वेन यू आर अलाउिंग सम वन टू इंसर्ट द पीनस इन साइड यू यू हैव टू एक्चुअली रिलैक्स योर पेल्विक फ्लो मसल्स एंड नॉट कॉन्ट्रैक्ट बट वेन यू आर टू मच इन टू स्ट्रेस एंड एंगजाइटी अगर अभी आप ऐसा इमेजिन करो कि आप ना आपके पीछे कुत्ता दौड़ रहा है सो हाउ यू आर गोइंग टू क्लेंच योर फिस्ट एंड क्लेंच योर जो एंड जस्ट यू नो रन फॉर योर लाइफ एंड इंक्रीजिंग एंड पाउंडिंग हार्ट रेट एंड पर्सपिरेशन एंड दैट सॉर्ट ऑफ फीलिंग्स सो दैट वे वेन योर पार्टनर इज गोइंग टू इंसर्ट और इंडर्ज इन टू दीज टाइप ऑफ इंटीमेसी यू मस्ट बी थिंकिंग दैट दैट इज गोइंग टू हर्ट यू हर्ट यू हर्ट यू एंड बिकॉज ऑफ दैट वेन यू आर नॉट एन्जॉइंग यू आर नॉट हैविंग प्रॉपर ल्यूब्रिकेशन डाउन दर ल्यूब्रिकेशन नहीं है देन द फोर्सफुल पेनेट्रेशन इज गोइंग टू हैपन एंड फॉर गॉड सेक देर आर नॉट देर इज नॉट इनफ टाइम दैट हैज़ बिन स्पेंड इन द फोर प्ले ऑन द फर्स्ट प्लेस सो जब प्रॉपर ल्यूब्रिकेशन ही नहीं है प्रॉपर ऑयलिंग ही नहीं है तो गाड़ी कैसे चलेगी वैसे ही स्मूथ पेनेट्रेशन कहाँ से होगा दैट वुड लीड टू अ फोर्सफुल पेनेट्रेशन पेन होगा वो सारी मेमोरी आपके दिमाग में रहेगी दैट इज़ गोइंग टू बी अ वेरी ट्रामेटाइजिंग एक्सपीरियंस फॉर यू फिर से यू आर गोइंग टू मूव फॉरवर्ड कैरिंग दो सेम सेट्स ऑफ इमोशंस और फिर आपको लगेगा कि दर्द होगा दर्द होगा दर्द होगा यू आर नॉट रिलैक्सिंग योर नॉट रिलैक्सिंग योर नॉट यूजिंग अ ल्यूब और नॉट कंसल्टिंग अ डॉक्टर एंड कीपिंग योर इन दस दैट शेम फियर एंड पेन ऑन एंड ऑन ऑन एंड ऑन ऑन एंड ऑन and i this will lead to a difficult and painful cycle and you will be in that resentment for a very long period of time so agar ye ho raha hai i i am very very sorry nobody deserves to be tre- treated that way but please विजिट अ डॉक्टर ये कोई रॉकेट साइंस नहीं है एवरीबडी इज़ हैविंग सेक्स आप अकेले नहीं हो जिनको डिफिकल्टीज हो रही है ट्रस्ट मी आई हैव कंसल्टेड थाउजेंड एंड थाउजेंड ऑफ वीमेन फ्रॉम ऑनलाइन कंसल्टेशन एज वेल ऑल्सो वहाँ पर उनको कम्युनिकेट करना ईजी लगता है क्योंकि फेस टू फेस भी मतलब कुछ लोग तो कैमरा टर्न ऑफ करके भी बोल देते हैं I have also seen one of my patient जिनको PCOS सी ओ एस था उन्होंने फर्टिलिटी के लिए मुझे कंसल्टेसन किया था एंड विद इन टू मंथस ओनली वो प्रेगनेंट हो गए बट स्टिल दैट वेमेन नेवर हैड एन ऑर्गेजम इन हर एंटायर लाइफ तो प्रेगनेंट तो हो जाओगे बट कम ऑन यू वुड रिक्वायर दीज थिंग्स फॉर लाइफ राइट फोर्थ एंड मोस्ट कॉमन रीजन दैट इज़ ऑल्सो सर्जिंग दीज डेज हैज टू बी इम्बेलेंस्ड हॉर्मोन्स so yes as a female we have a menstrual cycle periods follicular phase ovulatory phase and luteal phase we have a rising and falling hormones that changes almost every single week and that way our desire libido sex drive whatever you wish to call it that also keeps on changing that rises falls some days you feel like having it some days you are like no i am okay good on my own but that happens specifically when you have a normal set of hormones that rises and falls on a specific time but into this era of rush hush and hustle and bustle and every single thing majority of time we are also facing issues with regards to our hormones हमारी इरेगुलर पीरियड की साइकल्स होती हैं वी आर फेसिंग डिफिकल्टीज वाइल गेनिंग वेट एंड लूजिंग वेट एंड वी आर सो मच स्ट्रेस्ड सो वेन यू आर स्ट्रेस्ड योर स्ट्रेस हॉर्मोन कॉटिसोल इज ऑन दिस सर्च एंड दैट ऑल्सो हैज सम सॉर्ट ऑफ इफेक्ट्स ऑन योर सेक्स हॉर्मोन्स एफ एस एच एल एच ईस्ट्रोजन प्रजिस्टर ऑन टस्टस्टर ऑन एवरीथिंग वेन यू हैव अंडरलाइंग शुगर इम्बेलेंस और इंसुलिन रेजिस्टेंस दैट ऑल्सो हैज इफेक्ट्स ऑन योर टस्टस्टर ऑन एंड योर ओवरीज एंड इन जनरल एवरी सिंगल थिंग मुझे ये वाले वीडियो में हॉर्मोन्स को बहुत ज़्यादा नहीं घुसाना है सो या दिस इज़ अ जनरल रिमाइंडर फॉर माई सेल्फ बट आप घर बैठे बैठे खुद से डायग्नोज नहीं कर सकते कि आपको हॉर्मोन इम्बेलेंस हुआ है ऑन एन एवरेज इफ़ यू आर फीलिंग दैट योर साइकल्स आर प्रिटी मच रेगुलर मतलब ट्वेंटी एट टू थर्टी सेवन डेज के स्पैन में आपका पीरियड्स आ जाता है देन समवेयर यू वुड फील अराउंड मिड साइकिल फ्रॉम टेंथ डे टू सेवनटीन एटीनथ डे ऑफ साइकिल में वेन यू आर ऑवलेटिंग आपको ऐसा लगेगा दैट योर सेक्स ड्राइव इज ऑन सर्च अगर आपको ऐसा लगता है कि पूरी साइकिल में कुछ भी हो ही नहीं रहा है कुछ भी फील ही नहीं हो रहा है देन यू कैन सस्पेक्ट दैट बट ऑफकोर्स टू वैलिडेट योर फीलिंग यू नीड टू कंसल्ट योर गाइनेकोलॉजिस्ट एंड दिस इज़ रियली इम्पॉर्टेंट ओके डोंट सफ़र इन साइलेंस फिफ्थ एंड मोस्ट कॉमन रीजन वाई यू आर फेसिंग डिफिकल्टीज वाइल अचीविंग ऑर्गेजम हैज़ टू बी इन एडिकुएट एजुकेशन वन मोर टाइम 
because we are not very well aware regarding what clitoris is what clitoral plays are and how the actual penetration penetrative intercourse works so if you don't know clitoris is somewhat like this अगर बाहर की तरफ से देखोगे तो इट्स इट विल बी अपेयर एज जस्ट लाइक अ टिप ऑफ एन आइसबर्ग इट हैज समवेयर अराउंड 4000 5000 नर्व एंडिंग्स एंड इट हैज सोली वन फंक्शन दैट इज गोइंग टू बी योर प्लेजर एज मच एज 60 टू 70% ऑफ वुमेन अटेन्स ऑर्गेजम्स ओनली एंड ओनली थ्रू क्लिटरल प्ले मतलब मास्टोबेशन में व्हेन यू इंडल्ज इनटू द हैंड जॉब्स एंड नॉट एन एक्चुअल पेनिट एंड नॉट एक्चुअली इंसर्टिंग योर फिंगर्स इनसाइड द वजाइना और you know indulging into the penetrative sort of, sort of intercourse be it sex toys or from your partner so what happens that majority of time we are only and only focusing upon the end goal that has to be orgasm and meanwhile we are not putting adequate pressure on spending adequate time in talking and foreplay and actually stimulating your organ but just rushing through the end and that is going to be the penetrative form of intercourse so when you try and insert your partner's penis into your vagina into the forceful manner or jab when there isn't enough adequate lubrication down there then into those cases what happens is that of course there is going to be a expansion of the vaginal canal and rush in the hormones and everything and on an average men take somewhere around 60 seconds to 2 to 3 minutes that is the maximum time of course there are edging in other methods jisse aap time prolong kar sakte ho but that is amount of time someone spends or someone takes to to achieve an orgasm so the crux of the story is if you are facing difficulties with regards to achieving an orgasm ये ही मेन रीज़न हो सकता है दैट यू आर नॉट स्पेंडिंग एडिकुएट टाइम विद द फोर प्ले या फिर योर क्लेटरल प्ले इज मोर प्रोफाउम देन द एक्चुअल पेनेट्रेटिव सॉर्ट ऑफ इंटरकोर्स और जब तक आप जी स्पॉट और वो सब ढूंढने में लग गए हो उससे अच्छा व्हेन यू स्टार्ट टू एक्सप्लोर योर सेल्फ वेन यू नो एंड यू हैव आइडिया रिगार्डिंग योर एनेटोमी डाउन देर देन थिंग्स स्टार्ट टू चेंज आउट फॉर योर सेल्फ ओके सो I I I have seen these also very often, and I have seen lots and lots of this shape. That if you are into a you know successful healthy relationship, or if you are married uh, or a happily married couple, you shouldn't masturbate. But that is not the scenario, my friend. If you are facing difficulties with orgasms, you need to explore yourself. आपको खुद को पता होना चाहिए. Mumbai जाना है तो Mumbai का रास्ता कौन? How I don't know how my footage got deleted the later part of this video. So I am shooting this one more time. This, today is Sunday. I am sleep deprived. रात को पांच delivery हुई है. अभी भी दो होनी बाकी है. And here we are at the end of this video. If you are watching till here, thank you so much for your trust and time. And make sure you subscribe to my channel. ये video बहुत ज़्यादा helpful है. And I cannot put enough emphasis how many women are actually facing these issues. So make sure you share this with your girl gang and your besties. And I'll see you in my next one for sure. Bye bye. Take care. Thank you.